awesome. Welcome to Stroke Show, featuring your host, Claude Von Stroke. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Stroke Show. My name is Claude Von Stroke. Click to subscribe if you remember. This week on the show, I have my friend Gregory Gorday in the house, chef, master chef. Not Master Chef, that's the name of another show. <laughs> Top Chef? Chef. <laughs> Top Chef. Chef. This season on Top Chef. Let's go Boston! Top Chef brings out another side of you. <laughs> Thanks for having me on, Claude. Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> what do you do? What is your job? Well, I'm a chef. I've been a chef for about 20 years. Wow. Cooking in places like New York City, currently residing in Portland, Oregon. <laughs> Where's that kid? We'll just remove, we'll remove that one first. You broke the cup again. I didn't break the cup. D you gotta take it to the garbage. No. Oh my god. That's he, a, he just disrespected you. Kidding. You let your interns treat you like that? They don't get paid. I heard you took a class online with Oprah Winfrey about how to smile and talk on camera. Okay. Okay. You know, Oprah says when you want to smile, you gotta like take a deep breath and then relax. And okay, let's do, let's, let's do it together. Let's do it together. Let's do it together. So you want to take what a deep do we breath? do? We're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna let it out, and then we're gonna smile at the same time. See how nice that feels? Yeah, you look great. See, look how happy you look. RuPaul Drag Race or Top Chef? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> drag Race. Okay. All right. Me too. I <laughs> You'd make a good drag queen. That might be an episode. The bearded queen. The bearded oh, queen. Here we go. What's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? Raw beef guts um, with a little bit of stomach lining uh, and a little bit of fresh blood. And it's actually not that bad. Not to transition or anything, but this sounds like a good time for me to challenge you. Okay. To a duel. Okay. A barbecue duel. A barbecue duel? Let's do it. Okay, I'm down. You think I can win? No, no way. I'm not really worried about Gregory. I mean, he came in here with like big attitude. He's like, oh, I'm on Top Chef. I have really cool, like my own chef uniform. And I have like this dweeby like chef hat and an old like white apron, like I work in a deli or something. But it doesn't matter because my dish is gonna win. I'm not too worried about cooking against Claude. I mean, come on, Top Chef, DJ. Today I prepared four dishes. Barbecue chicken, barbecue shrimp, barbecue skirt steak, and some barbecue chicken hearts. Today I cooked chicken and beets with some leaves and some lemons in there. I stuck it all on a piece of wood and I put it on the grill. Freaking delicious. So I look over and Claude is chopping up his beets with an ax. This is pretty sharp. It's a freaking train wreck. Not the beats! I can't believe you dropped the beat. Clean that up over there. Gregory Gorday. You only which got rhymes with gourmet. Do you but think you're gonna what? lose anyway, mother? Oh yeah? <laughs> well you're freaking Claude Von Joke. <laughs> just like your last two albums. You're gonna finish and your second, comedy career. You're gonna finish in second place just like Top Chef. <laughs> oh, that's a burn. That's a burn. I am definitely the next top chef. May, you are top chef. Look at this thing. Who, you like, look kind of like your head. Your comedy career is like your stand-up <laughs> career. Awful. Let's go to the judges. <laughs> Chef Gregory is doing the new culinary special segment at Dirty Bird Barbecue. If you don't know what Dirty Bird Barbecue is, it's a party with barbecue food. What's your favorite memory from Dirty Bird Party? The Dirty Bird Portland Barbecue, mm. the one and only, mm. when it was the 4th of July, mm. and we were all hanging out in the park, watching the fireworks, and it was like the perfect end to a beautiful night. My favorite memory of Gregory is, I don't know what barbecue it was, but maybe it was like Treasure Island or something. For years, we gave away free hamburgers. But for some reason this year, there was like, 875 people in line and we hadn't even started cooking them yet. <laughs> and you just jumped in and you just started cooking those hamburgers and helping out and that and that was dope. Bob, what <laughs> cities are the barbecues in this year? Uh,
Any new tracks you're excited about? Uh, I got a new track with this guy from Spain, Eddie M. It's getting hot. It's what I want. I heard you made the first vegan ice cream for salt and straw. It was coconut milk ice cream with a uh, spicy cashew brittle, Ooh. pandan, cilantro, swirl, and candied pineapple. Cilantro? What yeah. did it taste like? It tastes like herbaceous and sweet mm. and tangy. Herbaceous? Yeah. Now there's lots of vegan flavors of salt and straw all the time. Herbaceous is a fruity, <laughs> sweet word. <laughs> What do we got in here? Oh, uh, here, do you want one of that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna challenge you! Whoa! Hello, everybody. Here we have some beautiful shrimp skewers, chicken skewers, skirt steak skewers, and chicken heart skewers, teriyaki sauce, and Korean barbecue sauce. Enjoy. Color. Wow, this just look, this great looks great. Great plating. Glaze on that, it looks amazing. The yeah. plating, beautiful. I, I expect nothing less. Mm. Wow, that was delicious. No texture, perfect. Mm, very good. Hi judges, I have chicken two ways. One with beets, and one is a bigger chicken. What the hell is this? Is that just a full lemon? You noticed. I'm not eating this. Eat it. This is trash. Eat this it. is garbage. Eat You're it. trash. You're trash. Oh. Smoking is bad for your health. That's worse. Well, definitely appreciate you guys appreciating my food. Perfect for, you know, barbecues across America. It's rained! <laughs> What's your favorite dish to make? I like making a roast chicken. You spatchcock the chicken, you cut out the backside, season it with lots of salt, some aromatics. Spatchcock, that's your DJ name. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him, how did you guys meet? How did you guys meet? <laughs> <laughs> so, back in 1995, what the festival. Okay. In Oregon, Very year, good festival. year one. Favorite. Almost. And you were wrapped up <laughs> in, a pink in, in a pink little girl sleeping bag. And that's really how it all began. Did I say 95 in the beginning? In 95, <laughs> okay. I was editing men's warehouse commercials. You're gonna like the way you look. I guarantee it. Come to all the Dirty Bird Barbecues this year. Me and Chef Gregory Gardet are gonna be there. Or one of his best friends. I'm gonna challenge you. Whoa! This show. <laughs> I'll see you next. It's a mess. It's a mess. Ew. Okay. Now we can cut. <laughs> <laughs>